Hey, it's Bearwood here with a, another video on uh, doing some exterior wall painting and decorating. And just a little, every two or three minutes or even less maybe, is a bus. That looks like an Airbus flying over my head from the Heathrow Airport. And then basically we got some lovely sunshiny skies. <laughs> a minute ago it was nice. But anyway, what I want to do is doing this, um, this old cottage and the paint sort of looked like this. When I started a minute yesterday on the other windows, this one's worse than the other ones here. But the uh, the kickboard, I don't know what you call it. There's a board that goes across there. Weather weather something board was rotten, so I've taken that off and repaired the holes yesterday with some two part adhesive. And if you look really close, if it was showing, I'd have to fill it a little bit. But I got a little depression there. I didn't expect to get it all in one go anyway. So now this has had some uh, undercoat primer. I'm going to go around and give it a bit more because I've got a couple repairs to do. Now, yesterday I treated this with the wood hardener here. And I also used this um, glazing putty in a tube. And that's this stuff right here. I'm fairly impressed with this stuff because it, you can get the job done in the same day, basically. But, I mean, you're, you're better off if you let it, you know, wait a day. I've done it in the same day. So it dries, it forms a skin pretty quick. Now, I did one over here, and I was running running low on it, surprisingly how fast it goes. But to do this, um, see, those were all rotten. And it goes on nice. You can, you, If you fiddle with it too much, you're, you're screwed. But I used my little plasterer's tool on these. We'll go into the shade over here. I don't know why. but um, And, now, you know, just take it and smooth it over. Smooth it over. It's the corners are hard to do. And then don't fiddle with it too much. Like these little bits here that I left sticking out, just leave that stuff. Even on that window there, see, leave it. Don't bother with it today. Let it dry for a few hours and then come back and do it. Now this part, this uh, sill has had a lot of two-part filler on there. Didn't get the board quite right lined up. I had to take my saws on and cut that off because it was all rotten. So I replaced it with some wood and then put the two-part. So I'll be hitting that with some 60 or 80 grit later on. And then some primer, and we'll be ready to go with that one. So, just a quick countdown on some of the stuff. So, we're using Cuprinol, two part filler. We're using the Ron Seal wood hardener. And then to clean it, you use the methylated spirits. Using the Unibond glazer's putty. And then the Dulux paint, the sugar soap. We're using Axis decorator pointed. I'm going to use that nice little. You brush and then on caulking guns, which are always if you buy one that the handle swivels on, the handle swivels, then you can turn this thing upside down and squirt it wherever you want. Then, um, something I've been using a little bit of is the Ryobi with these Merca uh, sanding pads, so it you know it's got Velcro on there, so that that's could be a pretty good tool. And then I always keep my hot air gun because it, it can save your day basically if you want to dry something fairly quick and get it tacky um, little bits of filler just little bits I'll use this polyfill though it says interior not quite happy with that and then to finish it off it'll be the Dulux weather shield um, gloss quick drying gloss because we can't really around for oil and then Waitrose uh, fresh blended not, yeah, it is fresh, not blended, but fresh brewed this morning from my own little kettle. These green things are handy. Got to have the radio. I'm listening to Radio Boxer. Tony Blackburn's on their local radio. Famous, famous guy. Broadcaster. He's been doing it for 50 or 60 years. And he's in his 70s, but he does he works every day. He's a workaholic. Okay, so what's next? Just tidy up around where I did the... the uh, the filling on the uh, the window sit you know the window glazing i want to get some paint on this one fairly quickly too though so six done six at six of one half dozen of another oh one last little thing sandpaper when you when you buy a roll don't break the outside pull it from the inside cut it and then it'll stay it'll stay rolled up for you you don't have to muck around with it and then it's the old hitachi down there and the vacuum i use the vacuum all the time so a great tool all right, well, well, we'll just end on that little mystery object. What do you think that might be?